The wait is over. 16 teams, including Everett's own Pope John High School, took the field for the MIAA High School Football State Championships. Hi, everyone. Welcome inside the ECTV studio here in Everett. I'm your host of Talk of the Town Sports Edition, Michelle Fenelon. Pope John High School's football team has had an improbable season. The Tigers bounced back from a 2-6 season last year to a perfect 12-0 record, entering the Division VIII State Championships on Saturday. To the highlights we go, we begin at Gillette Stadium. The Tigers making their first state title appearance since 1998, taking on St. Bernard. And it was a sloppy start for Pope John. A fumble recovery leads to this touchdown from three yards out. St. Bernard's lead 16-6 after the two-point conversion. 13 seconds to go in the half, Pope John trailing 16-6. Anthony Mejia letting it fly, and Rashad John hauls it in over the defender. Pope John trails 16-14 at the break. Let's jump to the fourth quarter where all the action went down. Pope John trailing 24-20. Mejia on the QB keeper gets hurt. And Pope John has to go the rest of the way without its starting QB. Late in the fourth, Pope John trailing 13-20. John Smith Howell takes the snap and he gone. Smith Howell rips off a 55-yard touchdown run. And now Pope John trails just 32-28 with 6.09 left to play. Late in the fourth, the Tigers trailing 38-28. Inside the 20-yard line, Smith Howell again, this time a two-yard run. The Tigers not out of it just yet. Next, St. Bernard's possession, same score, 2 3 on the clock. Third and four, the Tigers desperately needing a stop, but they won't get it here. Walter Morales breaks free for a 35-yard touchdown. St. Bernard's up 46-35, and that'll be the final as Pope John loses a tough one. This team played a lot of teams this year where they get up 30, 40 points early and the other team packed it in. Our kids just don't have that. They don't have any quit in them. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a real great positive to build on for, for next year. And, you know, the future looks bright. It's going to hurt for a little while, but our, our future, we're, we're a growing program and we're, we're proud of what we did today. With the majority of the roster returning next year, Sobolowski says he expects to be right back in it next season. St. John's Prep beat Catholic Memorial in the Division I state championship game, but make no mistake, former Everett High School football coach John DiBiazzo is still one of the most dominant coaches in Massachusetts high school football. DiBiazzo all but proved that when he made his third straight Super Bowl appearance. He led Catholic Memorial to its first Super Bowl appearance since 1978 and just his first year as head coach. DiBiazzo is the only coach in state history to have more than 300 wins in football and 500 wins in basketball. And speaking of basketball, Everett High School's boys basketball team hits the hardwood this week in preparation for their first game of the season under first-year head coach Stanley Chamberlain. I know if Dib were to be in front of me right now or even be in my ear before the opening night, he would tell me, don't focus on him, focus on me. And that's, that's the way I'm approaching every game this season. And Hopefully I'm able to be here for as long as he's been here. Every season opener is next Friday, December 14th. And newly named athletic director Tammy Turner enters her 13th season as the head coach for the Lady Crimson Tide. Turner says we can expect to see a lot of speed on this year's team. We're going to run the ball offensively. We want to run uh, get fast breaks as much as possible. We have a lot of guards, so we're fast. So um, defensively, I want to press most of the game, put pressure on them because I'll be able to switch kids in and out because we have so much depth. Everett will travel to Saugus for its first game next Friday. And that's all we have for Talk of the Town Sports Edition. I'm your host, Michelle Fenelon. Thanks for watching.